Hello and welcome to Prototex Mastercam 2025 rollout video series. Don't forget to check out our website where you can find the latest download, install, and migration guides and videos. In this video, we're going to take a look at the mill enhancements found in Mastercam 2025. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the new Mastercam Deber. Mastercam has had a Deber toolpath, but up until now, it's only been available as part of the multi-axis package. It is now a purchasable add-on for Mill and Mill 3D customers. Let's take a look in Mastercam. In Mastercam, in my 3D menu, I now have a Deber. Users already familiar with this toolpath will notice many similarities. I'm going to pick a quarter inch ball end mill. The three axis version is limited to radius, full radius tools like ball end mills and lollipop cutters. For my input geometry, I'm going to select the entire model. I can have it auto detect or I can define which edges I want to break. I'm just going to let it deburr every sharp edge. Except for this part has some holes. I can either exclude edges or I could add avoidance geometry for fixturing, or I could also do that for these holes that I don't want it to cut. I can define a width. On this page, I'm limited to three axis. Some linking settings. I'll hit OK, and it will add deeper paths to my entire part. What's neat about this is model chamfer works great for planar edges, but I, you can see I have many 3D shapes in here and it would nice, be nice to be able to get a consistent edge break on this in the machine. Let's run verify and take a look. I'm just going to advance to the end and I can see nice even corner breaks even on complex 3D shapes. doesn't get much easier than that. For a little bit of contrast, let's try switching this to a lollipop cutter. Some of these features aren't able to be reached like this cross hole. So I edit my toolpath parameters. I'm just going to go to my tool page, select this quarter inch lollipop. I'll keep the same parameters and regenerate. The three axis deburr add-on toolpath gives us a simple way to deburr our parts including complex geometry. I can see that it now also chamfered some of these cross holes that were being missed before. Same thing, I will verify and advance it right to the end and now I can see I get some additional cuts. For more information on how you can gain access to this awesome new function, be sure to contact us. In the next mill enhancement, we gain a maintained feed per tooth in our chamfer drill toolpath. This allows for consistent feed rate when we're chamfering different diameter holes. We're going to continue on with the same model. We just deburred this part. Now we're going to deal with the holes. I'm going to select the chamfer drill from my 2D gallery. This is a toolpath we've had for a while. I'll use control click to pick all the different size holes. So we have had maintain our surface feed. What we gain in 2025 is to also maintain our feed per tooth. So this tool I currently set at a 2700 RPM with five and a half inches per minute. I'll just hit okay on this. And I could back plot it or I'll use my analyze toolpath function. So there I can see that I'm at 4,800 RPM with a feed rate of almost 10. Check out a different size hole 
5800 RPM with a feed rate of 11.7. It's adjusting my surface feed and my feed per tooth for the different diameter holes. The next enhancement is a continuation of what we first saw in Mastercam 2024, the graphical plane previews. This has now been added to all of your 2D and 3D milling tool paths that have the tree style dialog. In this example, I'm looking at dynamic mill. I can choose to display the graphical elements only on the page that they're used on or on all pages. I currently have them set to all pages. I have a clearance issue on this one. I can see that my rapid is moving through my fixturing there and I can see that my retract plane there is too low. I could edit it here on the linking page or once again, I could go right to the graphics window to make adjustments and regenerate as well. Now my tool retracts over my fixturing. A long requested enhancement has been added to Mastercam 2025. Dynamic mill and area mill tool paths now have finishing options. Let's take a look at dynamic mill. Dynamic milling loops along walls, which can leave a fairly rough finish along walls. It is meant for roughing. If you want to also finish or leave stock and still rough, but leave a smoother finish along the walls, we now have finishing options inside of both dynamic mill and area mill. I can turn on finish passes. I'll say one finish pass. And then if I expand my finish passes, I also get access to my lead and lead out, which will allow me to apply and cancel cutter comp. I'll green check. I'll back plot the results. I'll just drag my slider along here a ways. I'll turn on restricted draw. I'll hit play. And I can see my lead and lead out and my finish passes. Now there are times when dynamic may not be able to get into certain areas. For instance, this tool barely fits in here, in this narrow region here. If I just say leave a little more stock, it won't fit in there. So even though my roughing path doesn't fit in there, my finishing path still completes it. I may want this if that area has already been dealt with. If it hasn't been dealt with, I don't want that. And on my finishing page here, I can turn on minimize burial. With minimized burial on, my finishing pass only finishes where this tool path was able to rough. In Mastercam 2025, we see an enhancement to circle mill, specifically the spring passes. This part is using circle mill to finish this large bore. If we're getting deflection on our tool, spring passes will help give an even diameter throughout the cut. But if I'm using a relieved tool, the spring passes would need to occur at every depth. Previously in Mastercam, we could turn on spring passes, but they only occurred at final depth. Now on the finishing page, I can apply spring passes and I can apply to all finished passes so that the spring passes will occur at every cut depth, making sure I maintain an even diameter throughout the cut. The thread mill toolpath sees many enhancements in Mastercam 2025 to its entry, exit, and feed. Let's take a look at this first toolpath. On the tool parameter page, we now see a tool edge feed rate. What this will do is it'll take the tool feed rate, which is calculated from the center of the tool and utilize a formula using the diameter of the tool to output a feed rate at the contact point. In the past, users would have had to use a formula to calculate themselves. This checkbox will now automatically do this for us. On the lead and lead out page, I see that my lead in and lead out has now been split into entry and exit motion. I can now com control them separately. I also gain editable feeds and speeds for the entry and the ability to do a gradual entry. The tool will start engaging at the percentage specified and go to full engagement within the first half pitch or 180 degrees of motion. The lead out will then disengage over a half pitch as well. The gradual engagement prevents the sharp engagement that could lead to tool wear on harder materials. I can now also see that with my advanced display, the first and last part of my cut 180 degrees are now considered lead and lead out as I'm not fully engaged. Let's also take a look at these quarter inch holes on the side of the part. 
There may be times when it's hard to do your entry and exit move in the hole to apply and cancel your comp. The lead and lead out page also gives me now a chance to retract before last move and plunge after first move so I can now do my entry moves in the air allowing me to apply comp in those hard to fit paths. Next up we get some new display options for viewing our nesting results in Mastercam 2025. I'm going to nest the drawers for this assembly. I'll add the entire assembly using disassemble solid or mesh. When I view the results, I have some new options. I can force the background to white. I can force the geometry to black. Now I've mostly nested solid parts here, so I'll only see the borders change. And I can also now control the line thickness. The last Mastercam 2025 enhancement we'll take a look at for the mill section will be a new enhancement to pocket. For the finish pass only, we can now override our arc feed rates, similar to some of our other paths. Take a look at the front view. I'm cutting a pocket. If I analyze the tool path, I can see that at this corner, I'm traveling at a metric feed of 2,500. On the arc filter tolerance page, I can apply an arc override feed rate of a max of 20, 50% of the original. If I now check out the tool path, I can now see that I've slowed to a feed of 1250 in that corner. This concludes the mill section of Prototex Mastercam 2025 rollouts. Please make sure to check out our other videos and thanks for watching.